I'm Derek with Love Your Home. And I'm Chris with Love Your Home. Welcome to the introduction video where we cover all the tools and the type of paint that you're gonna need to make your job go as easy and smooth as possible. This is the introduction video. Please watch this before getting started because we're gonna go over all the materials that you're gonna wanna buy and what we recommend to make your process painting as easy as possible. And first step, we're gonna start with paint. The one thing about paint that you don't want to do is you don't want to skip and go with cheap paint, like $20 a gallon paint. With this discount, you are going to be getting Sherwin-Williams paint, cashmere for 50% off. So regularly in the store, this would be about $60 a gallon, but you're going to be getting it for around $30. So one of the things you're going to want to do when you're choosing paint is you're going to want to know, do you want to do two coats or do you want to do three? And depending on the type of paint you choose, the color, the tone, it's going to be, you know, two or three coats. So if you go with a white, just plan on doing three coats. If you go with a red, just plan on doing three coats. Otherwise, it should be two coats per room, yep. per, gallon, you that, per gallon, like per gallon. Like a room. giant transformation between the colors, you most likely should be fine with two coats. And if you do want to use something a little more durable than cashmere, which this is very durable paint, but if you want to spend a little more money and basically get the best, you can go with Emerald from Sherwin-Williams. That's the top of the line paint that they carry. It's very nice. It is roughly around $50 a gallon with our discount, but it does retail for, I'd say, around 90 Yeah, so, you're going to be saving about 50% off yeah. for whatever you buy at Sherwin-Williams specifically. With this discount, yes. So to jump in now to the materials that we recommend you using, which you are going to save money on, so don't go to Walmart or don't go, don't go to a local store and just buy random stuff. All these things will be listed on the website as well. You can click the link below; it will show you them there. We'll have everything yep. that you possibly need or want uh, that'll be in this video. Yep. All right. To start off, we're going to start off with uh, these tarps. Um, these are nine by twelve tarps. Uh, we ended up getting these at. Uh, these are from Menards. We got this at Menards, and these were... Um, they're around $17 for, for this one pack, which is just one tart, but we do cut them in half to make them a four and a half by 12. We're all about helping you save money, and cutting them in half is basically a buy one, get one. So if you wanna buy more than just one pack, you I, I would recommend going with maybe four tarps at the minimum. If you're doing a lot of your house, you could go with three pack, three, three tarps and get six out of it and that should be just fine. Yeah, the more tarps you have, the the less often you're gonna have to move the tarp from place to place because as you're working on one wall to this wall, especially when you're rolling, you don't wanna have to pick up the tarps and move them constantly while you're in the process of doing something. So the more tarps you have, the longer you can go rolling out a wall. With your paint project, you're going to need to get uh, a tub of plus three, and you can get this at Lowe's or you can get this at Sharon Williams in the description below and the website and the link. And um, you're going to be using this for any nail holes that you might have in the wall, screw holes, anything you take out, um, just to, you know, take the spackle, take the knife, fill them in. And you're going to want to pull that tight to the wall instead of leaving a big goober on there. Mm -hmm. You don't want those because they're hard to sand and they're hard to get rid of. Yep. Since we're talking about drywall mud for spackling, this could, this is an optional, optional product, but this is fiberglass tape for fixing cracks that keep coming back. A lot of times house settles, they move, and uh, you can put this over the crack, cut it off. Take and, your blade. Uh, yep. Take your blade. Put it, it off crack, like that. Yep. Put it on the crack and then mud right over it. That way your crack doesn't come back anymore. So this is an optional. This is optional. If you have cracks or holes that you need to fill something in with, we recommend buying this. You can buy it at Sherwin Williams or Lowe's. Another thing you're going to need for painting is a ladder, and you can get a step ladder in one, two, or three steps. I personally think this is a little big to be moving around your house. Uh, the fiberglass is. Um, ladders are lighter so you know they make the two-step they're a lot smaller they're plastic they're easy to move around but you're definitely going to need one for your job when you're cutting in ceilings yep. next off we're gonna go with 
you're gonna need a bucket. We like to use five gallon buckets versus trays. You can obviously use a tray if you'd like, if you already have them, whatever you wanna do. But these, you can usually get them for like two bucks or maybe you have one laying around like I do. I think home people might charge $3 for these. Yep. Um, depending where you buy them, it totally, you know, it's gonna be two or three bucks no matter yeah, what. Maybe you can get them for $1.50 at the they're, cheapest. Yeah, they're cheap and you can wash them out when you're done, use them for yep. whatever, something else. If you're gonna be doing more than one color, I would suggest getting more than one bucket. Yeah. And then to go inside the bucket, you're gonna need a roller grid. These come in plastic or you can buy them in metal, it doesn't really matter. We have a plastic one here today. Yeah, and these are great. These, these are so much better than having a pan that you have to pick up, move around. Everywhere you go, they have handles on them. Yeah. So you can pick them up and move them really easy. Yeah. You know, you can even put the roller frame in there. So while you're doing it, you know, it, just, it stores right there. It mm -hmm. just makes it quick and easy to move around. Yep, less accidents when using buckets. Well, I guess we might as well talk about this. These are from Sherwin-Williams as well. They're a little bit cheaper roller, but they are well-made. This is what we use every single day. Um, this is the brand Master. They're gray, and this is what we recommend using as a roller frame. Roller pole is just a good size. It's for a good it. size for eight foot walls, you yeah. know, because it basically full extended will go to the top and then full extended go to the bottom. If you're doing a bigger wall, you're not gonna really wanna use anything bigger than this yeah. or if you're using a bigger wall you're going to want to use something bigger than this so yeah. if you're using you know if you're rolling out a 14 foot wall you're probably going to want an eight foot mm -hmm. or six foot pole yeah but for the typical tip for, but for the typical project i would say the the two to four foot is going to be just what you need moving into roller naps they sell these at show and limbs with their discount, I believe we get them for around seven. There's a two pack. They are extremely, extremely nice rollers. These are our favorites. They hold a lot of paint. They ver they leave barely any roller texture, any stipple on the wall when you're rolling. So they look really nice. They give you a really, really, really nice finish. And this is Curdy Ultra Finish Professional Two Pack um, Roller Naps. These are nine inch and they fit right on to the, the roller, roller right, like this. And, and a lot of times when you get these um, and you start painting with them, if, if you don't, uh, I'll show you a method here to get all of these little fuzzies out because if you don't do this, these little fuzzies can get into the paint and then when you're rolling, you're gonna be like, what the heck is going on here? Mm -hmm. I don't want all these fuzzies in there. The microfibers, when you roll them on versus the, what are the other ones called? Like polyester. The, the polyester. The polyester ones leave little hairs mm -hmm. and, the, and they'll leave them in your paint and they'll be super noticeable once the paint dries. It looks very bad. That's one of the nice things about the microfibers is they don't have all these little hairs that they leave behind when you're painting. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times what we'll do is we'll, we'll tape these. So we'll tape them like this and we'll tape the whole thing, you know, all the way to the, to the edge of the frame here. <laughs> I would usually do this when the frame's not on. <laughs> yeah. But if you do do it while the frame's on, you can, uh, you can, it you can finish up here, yeah. You can whip it off, just leave a little extra for you. Make sure you really get it on there tight, grip it. And this is just really gonna take care of all those little fuzzies. And I don't know how much of these, because of their microfiber, it doesn't pull off as much. Yeah, but if it, if it was a polyester or if it was a cheaper roller nap, you'd have like a thousand little hairs on that. So these really don't leave too many hairs. They're really nice for that reason. And yeah. they hold so much paint that you can go way farther than you normally would. You can get your job, you can get your project done so much faster when you can roll farther and not have they don't spend. They don't throw a lot of drips. They don't throw a lot of specks. They're no, and they clean. Really nice. They clean out really nice, and they'll yep. they'll last you a while. It's yeah. not going to be like, oh, I painted with it once, yep. and then you're done. You'll be able to use this for quite a few jobs or quite a few um, areas that you want to paint. So. Mm -hmm.